But what is gonzo journalism? Why do you call it that? First, I realized I was doing something different. It's a breakthrough. We got to call it something. I mean, Why well, call it you know another word that's been used? So I just uh, liked the word gonzo, and it seemed to mean what I was doing. You know, it is a mixture of humor and uh, kind of a high stomping style. You know, a bit more active than your normal journalism. I mean, treat words like music. I, you know, the Vegas is my favorite book because it's such a tight. Or it's just an exercise in writing. When I, I've, I've been asked what Gonzo means for so long, and I'm forced into at least a pretense of finding a serious definition. And what I went to Vegas to do, actually, when I realized I was going to do a book out of it or a long article, what I've been trying to do for a long time was to, to eliminate the, the steps or the blocks between the writer and the page. That's why I always get the fastest and newest time frame. If they make one that costs $12 million, I'll write a bad check and get it for a while. And, you know, it, it's, that, it's, it, it's the steps between what you're thinking and what you want to put on the page. You can't do something new and right you know, twice. I can only get into a story when I'm right there, which makes it uh, for a problem sometimes. I never really thought of myself either as folks on the floor or as a part of the drug culture, although a lot of other people do. I have to be uh, a person who does most things to excess, and so it just would you know, be normal that I'd do it with drugs. I'm pretty selective, and I've learned a lot. Yeah. And uh, maybe I've burnt my mind out, maybe I've gone crazy, maybe I've destroyed myself. But uh, it doesn't worry me too much right now. I was told for years that I was too violent to uh, deed uh, LSD. And I was basically a violent person and all these people liked me and could get along with me on occasion. Uh, that under no circumstances should I ever touch that stuff.